All right, you guys, so throughout the course of this video, we're gonna be talking about number one, what the hell has happened to my truck and the current state of it. Number two, how you can actually come meet me in person next month in May. And number three, something very, very crazy and exciting that is finally about to happen. It was honestly only a matter of time before this happened. I don't know what the fuck kind of bullshit is happening right now, but it's like, it just won't fucking speed up. The transmission finally took a big fat shit on the ramp. It's really not that bad though, because if you think of it, I have over 250,000 kilometers on the truck, and I always said to myself, if I get over 200,000 kilometers and still haven't blown the transmission, I really can't complain, because through the life of my truck, it's been through so much abuse. Without a doubt, I've probably decreased the lifespan of this thing. Not to mention running 38 by 15 and a half tires, towing a 7,000 pound camper. There's a lot of things that I just said, fuck it. This truck had an unusual life to say the least, and it's been a damn great life at that. But that is not the end for this truck, not even close. She's literally just a lawn ornament these days, sitting in front of the house. Without a doubt, this truck has seen way better days. She's hurting quite a bit right now. Not only is this thing absolutely filthy because it's just that time of the year, but as you know, the transmission's down, motor's having some issues. Look at this rust peeking through here. It's looking pretty ugly these days. And then missing the gas cap. Don't even ask me about that one, but there's a new one on the way. We're definitely doing stuff to this truck in the next little bit to get it good enough to at least bring to a truck show coming in May. It's gonna be in Fargo, North Dakota. It's called Midwest Truck Fest. And we're gonna have the Adrenaline Off-Road booth. We're gonna be set up with my truck. Looking better than it is right now, trust me. My buddy's crazy F350. Huge air lift on that thing. And another two trucks. One is actually a customer of Adrenaline Off-Road that lives in Minnesota. And then we got another local truck coming down. So it's gonna be badass adrenaline booth, this truck and three others, and a whole bunch of badass lights and everything. So if you guys wanna come say what's up and meet me, you gotta be there. Be there, show up with your truck. Let's go have a good time. I want you guys to walk up to me and be like, hey, I was watching your YouTube video and you said come say what's up, so here I am. So let's go for a little ride here and uh, I'll show you how she's shifting and whatnot. You ready, bud? Fish eye makes his nose look so long. And the only reason my truck is gonna start right now after sitting so long is because of this right here. Cutting power to all of my mini rock lights, wheel lights, starlight, all that good shit. Works like a charm to get rid of any little drain. Okay, so I literally just put it into drive to move it and I don't know what's going on, but maybe if it got fucked up more cause it was sitting, but it's literally not moving right now. Look at this shit. So it's like first and second gear work pretty good. So just watch how it shifts. So we're in first, obviously. Oh, that was kind of a weird shift. <laughs> so it's in first now or something. Or wait, maybe it's not even putting out power. Look at the RPMs as they go up. It's not even, I think it's in like neutral pretty much right now. So I'm gonna see if I put it in second. You ready, kid? Yeah. So now when I put it in second, we're actually able to move. What the hell this truck's deal is, but she's mad and we gotta fix this bitch. So it's obvious our only option is to mop around in first or second gear, which doesn't really make this truck that practical to use at all because you can only go like 50 in second gear. And that's 50 kilometers an hour for all you Americans watching out there. Still rips in second though. <laughs> uh oh. We still gotta get home, I better not do that shit. You know, the one good thing about this right now is the rock lights are still beaming. They're dirty as hell, but they're still fucking good. Wheel lights, rock lights, they all look so subtle in the daytime. And then as soon as you go nighttime, and for anybody who's new to the channel you probably don't realize the path that this truck has actually gone through to get as banged up as it is today you would not believe how much off-roading this truck has seen over the years 
it's pretty impressive that it actually made it to 250 plus kilometers without blowing its original transmission. I remember in the comment section, people would always be like, you're gonna blow your transmission, you're gonna blow your transmission, oh my God, you can't drive it like that. What up, six years later? That's how long it fucking took for this thing to finally bite the dust. And something cool is about to happen here. So I'm going from one truck that barely does 50 kilometers an hour and it's kind of a ticking time bomb to very soon having not only this truck back up and running, but we're gonna have a very, very exciting new addition to the channel. So if you guys wanna see what the hell I've got cooking up, and trust me, it's something fucking spicy, then just make sure you subscribe and watch next week's video. I'm literally just trying to turn my truck around right now in the fucking front yard, and I've lost reverse. It's just stuck in the front yard now. Literally can't even move from this position because <laughs> I literally have to back it out of here to get out. But yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> It smells a little bit like coolant, a little bit like something burning, and a little bit like maybe transmission fluid or something like that, but yep, she's, she's fucking had it. I really just need to turn it around so I can actually drive out of here because that's fucking deep as shit. Let's see what happens here. Oh. Oh my God, <laughs> it's losing everything. It's losing everything, come on. Oh, there goes reverse. All of a sudden it just fucking came and said, what's up? I just need to back it into the dry fucking yard. This is so weird. I'm in like fourth fucking gear. It's like, this is supposed to be first gear right now. <laughs> it's so fucked. Let's see if second does anything. Drive seems to be working now. Man, this thing is fucked up. Okay, so this is what we got right now, a reverse. Oh. oh, that smells bad. That smells so bad. And just like that, her final resting spot. So this piece of equipment right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what the actual transmission from this truck looks like. And this one right here isn't pooch, so we're gonna be putting this one into the truck in the next couple days here. And to explain to you how a transmission works, is our good mechanic, Graham. Hey bro. What do you think caused me to fucking fuck my transmission up? I'm not sure. Come on bro, you're a mechanic here. You're the professional. Uh, I have no idea. If you had to take one guess on what contributed the most to this tranny going. It has nothing to do with mudding. Nothing to do with flooring it everywhere. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. Oh yeah, the Bermuda Triangle. So pretty much Illuminati is the reason why this transmission went because when you get to a certain kilometer range or mile range, you enter the, the triangle, the triangle of fucking transmission. Yeah, blowing, yeah. <laughs> exactly, so I mean, Dodges are pretty known for that shit. I personally knew that after I got past 200,000 kilometers, there was kind of a chance that it would happen like any day and made it to 252, so it's just like, yeah. it's part of the game of owning a Dodge and just fucking romping on it. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, if you get to 200,000 and you haven't changed your fluid for 100,000, you're asking for it. <laughs> I never changed my fluid ever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right here, we have a transmission, also known as a tranny. Not a 2023 tranny, but a 2005 tranny. And this is pretty much where your front drive shaft attaches to. And right over here, you have a little spot right there. That's where the rear drive shaft goes to. And if you come on over to this side, you got this, and you're not really supposed to put water down here, but sometimes it happens. But <laughs> it's really not advised to put water down here at all. So. Yeah, you just put the red Kool-Aid down there and then you got this fucking piece here. I don't really know what the fuck that is, but my good friend told me it was a torque converter and uh, so it probably converts torque. And then right over here, you got a whole cluster fuck of uh, a bunch of bullshit that nobody wants to fucking solder, but some unlucky bastard, probably the guy filming is gonna be soldering all those <laughs> wires together. Yeah, this is uh, a very important part of the truck and she's in dire need of one, so she's about to fucking get one. 
Well, she's off to get her new heart put in, new heart transplant, much needed. Go in this bitch, go get fixed up. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Reverse works. Two years ago, I brought my truck into the deepest mud that it's ever seen. Literally up to the headlights in mud. I was 100% low key shitting my pants. We made a full length video that day that you guys are definitely gonna love. So go check that shit out with the link in the description below.